so how long is this length right here if we know that we have a square on the outside that is 12 inches by 12 inches. Here we're using the Pythagorean theorem. We have this right triangle in red right here. And we need to know how long this is, which is that's the hypotenuse. And we could tell us the hypotenuse because it is across from the right angle. And these are our two legs right here. And we might um, notice that these lines come down here to cut these sides in half. So that each of the legs, it's a six by six um, triangle, so it's isosceles, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse. 36 plus 36 is 72, that's equal to c squared, and therefore c is the square root of 72. And oops, and that's going to be what c is. Now the square root of 72 is irrational, um, but we can tell, let's go to a new page for a moment, we can tell that the square root of 72, oops, 72, well, it's between two whole numbers. 8 times 8, oops, 8 times 8 gives me 64. So the square root of 64 is below the square root of 62, and that's 8. We don't know what this is yet. 9 times 9 is 81, so the square root of 81 is above 72. So the square root of 72 is between 8 and 9, so it's 8 point something. And we could tell it's going to be um, a little bit closer to 8. So it's going to be less than 8.5 for sure, maybe about 8.4 or so. And we can tell that because 72 is 8 away from 64, but it is in fact 9 away from 81. And if we use a calculator to figure out the exact square root of 72, let's see how close my guess was um, comparing right here. The square root of 72 is in fact 8.4852, so it's, a, it's a very, very close to 8.5. So in this problem right here, we can tell the hypotenuse right here is about 8.5 um, inches. Now in this problem, they ask us to do a few things. They ask us to look at that side length right there, but they also want to know um, how big, so how, how big is the center diamond? Well, if each side of the center diamond is the square root of 72, and in the middle we have a diamond that's a square turned on its side. So that means the area is the square root of 72 times the square root of 72. So the area of this inner square is just going to be, in fact, 72. And this goes back to the idea that the square root of 4 times the square root of 4 is just 4. In fact, any square root of x times the square root of x equals just the number itself. And that's because you're squaring a square root. And square roots... So you take a square root and you square it. Um, squaring and square roots are inverse operations, so they undo each other. And then we're just left with the number in the end.